Today I'd like to share with you why you never want to buy one of these 25 cubic foot Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerators that has the freezer on the bottom. Now, admittedly, before we get started, I should tell you that this refrigerator is, you know, several years old, but this problem that I'm going to show you started just as soon as it got out of the warranty period. And there is currently a lawsuit against Whirlpool for this refrigerator, um, but they have not done any recalls on it. And just to show you the tag there, Whirlpool Gold. And I'm going to show you why this refrigerator is absolute junk and what it's been doing for the last several years. Basically, with the freezer on the bottom, you can see it just leaks. It leaks like this at least once a week and it's all because of ice buildup in the bottom of the freezer. Now people will give you all types of solutions for this online but quite honestly I shouldn't need a solution for this. This shouldn't be a problem. I should not get any leaking like this out of the bottom of a refrigerator especially one as expensive as this. If I can get enough light in here I'm going to show you the culprit and that is this ice buildup in the bottom of the freezer compartment. There's a layer of ice that covers the entire bottom where this little uh, depression is, this little pan. And when that overflows, it just leaks out the front of the refrigerator. And usually uh, you can tell by looking at the side or at the front sometimes. Um, now, basically, I guess this is because it's not condensing correctly or whatever. That's what I've read. Um, there's a vent up here that I've been told you can take this off and you can take the back panel of the refrigerator off, which requires you to take out both drawers. And then you have to go in through the back of the refrigerator and clean the drain valve, which I've not only cleaned the drain valve, I've actually removed all obstructions. I've removed the little rubber tip, everything. You know what I'm talking about if you've got one of these pieces of junk. Um, but again, I'm not exactly sure why I have to do all this and why Whirlpool hasn't recalled this refrigerator and actually stood behind their products instead of, uh, just basically taking money from the public and selling us junk that's just going to freeze up like this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, what I do to clean it up and what I have to deal with. So here we go. Okay, so like I said, at least once a week I got to do this. Uh, put, the, put a towel down in front of the refrigerator like this. Um, the cat is optional. That's a completely optional part of this process. Uh, but you got to put a towel down in front of the refrigerator to catch all the ice that I'm about to crack and scrape out. So I'll show you what that looks like. Basically, I get inside the bottom of the refrigerator with a metal spatula, crack all the ice up, and then shove it out the front of the refrigerator onto the towel. So this actually isn't near as much ice as is normally in there. And I'm actually kind of curious as to why it was leaking with only this much ice in there. And that's pretty sad that I actually know the different levels of ice inside the bottom of this refrigerator and dealt with this so many times. But that's it. I'll end up just wrapping all this up in the towel and either taking it to the sink and dumping it out or taking it outside and waiting to get to do this fun process again next week. So I'd just like to shout out a great big thank you to the Whirlpool Company for failing to stand behind their products, failing to recall this product, and uh, failing to support the consumer. You can be guaranteed that I will never buy another piece of junk refrigerator from Whirlpool ever again. So, hey, thanks for watching, and uh, with any luck, maybe I'll see you on the next video.